Hey guys, how's it going? We got another war counter video for you today. Uh, working in on that full counter list we're talking about in previous videos, we're going to look at Shadowlands. Uh, there is a team I prefer to use them on, which is the new Warriors team. A couple different variants of that. The strongest one is probably Drax and Squirrel Girl. Uh, I don't have footage of that. I did on my phone, but my phone's been broken. So I have to settle with what I've filmed from uh, War of the Dark stuff, which is why you'll see a fake me in the background who's uh, muted out. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this, and I'm going to hide for a bit just while we go over their kits. And here we go. So the new warriors up at the top here, I put uh, Drax and Skrogo in there. In the footage, however, it's going to be She-Hulk and Invisible Woman. Uh, an inarguably an easier version than the one that I had posted here, but we'll talk about how you take care of the one posted up here. I'm also going to show a couple other counters, but you'll, you'll see that in a bit. So for the Shadowlands, we got Moon Knight. We're going to have everything but the basic done. The special is luxury. You can have not do that one if you want. And we definitely want him as a skirmisher. White Tiger, everything but the basic. The basic would actually be pretty good too as another luxury one. We're going to use her as a striker. For Electra, just the special. That's somewhat luxury. It only adds RNG to pull off an extra uh, buff, so it's not super necessary. Um, but if you got extra T4s lying around, go ahead and slap that on. We want her as a skirmisher, obviously. Night Nurse, everything but the basic. Wonder is a healer. And Daredevil, I like everything. I would even do the ultimate if I had a surplus of T4s, but I think the ultimate is the most skippable one. And I'm going to use him as a raider. As far as investments go, you definitely want Moon Knight, White Tiger, and Daredevil to be as big as possible. And you want moderate investments on Electra and uh, Night Nurse. Especially for this matchup, we don't want Deathpool to be using her passive a lot, so we can't have Electra spam dying. So for the kill order, I'm going to say Cloak Dagger, because that's what people do conventionally. However, I will say that I prefer to kill Dagger first. I feel it's a safer tactic, uh, just to avoid dodges. But most people will say Cloak first. Next, we're going to kill Squirrel Girl, Drax, uh, Squirrel Girl, Death Pool, and Drax, sorry. So the important moments, as with all Shadowlands guys, make sure you're really prioritizing them while Hanger's still up in the beginning of the race. That makes Moon Knight go first, and it's very important to know which debuffs are landed on which characters before you use your White Tiger special. So if Cloak is blinded, then you definitely don't have to go for Cloak, and you can go for Dagger or even Squirrel Girl. Uh, another reason that we want to have that hanger up is the Skirmisher on Moon Knight is going to strip off extra buffs. So if we didn't get uh, the strips on Drax with Electra because of, say, Boosted or Engineering or maybe it's Bridge, whatever the case may be, the Skirmisher from Moon Knight has an extra attempt to rip off more buffs. So it's really good to have Hanger up when you use these guys. Now, if your Shadowlands are big enough, I would suggest one-shotting the Dagger first. Like I said before, Conventional Wisdom is da uh, Cloak before Dagger, but if you can one-shot Dagger, there's no reason not to go for that route. Because Cloak Alt does very little damage once Dagger's dead. And right after he does that, Night Nurse is going to go in and cleanse it. So it's not super dangerous to let Cloak Alt when Dagger's not on the field. Finally, be careful of Squirrel Girl special. Obviously, that's a huge cleanse. You're going to have ample opportunity to kill her in between attacks. Like, your entire Shadowland team is going to go first. And most Squirrel Girls you walk into aren't going to be super strong. So you're going to have lots of opportunity to kill them. But let's go ahead and look at some footage. And I'll pop back up. Hello. And like I said, I'm going to show you new warriors against the uh, Invisible Woman and She-Hulk that I faced. It's the only footage I have, unfortunately. And we'll look at some other interesting matches. So this is a 110k punch-up. And I will use the conventional method here and go for Cloak first. And you'll notice no dodges happen, so we just walk over this team. I guess I should turn this light on. Hey! So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go put a Vulnerable on Dagger here. Now that's pretty much hinging my bet because I know Moon Knight's going to go first. I'll try and put another Vulnerable on Cloak with him. But if it's dodged, then I'm not going to waste White Tiger's special. I'll go ahead and kill the Dagger. But it wasn't dodged. White Tiger's ability hits a bunch of times. So even if he gets dodged once or twice, you might be okay. You might still in the ability block. Uh, in my case, he dodged nothing and he just gets splatted, which is great. Now, I don't have defense down on anybody else but Deathpool, so while I have the opportunity, I'm actually just going to beat up on her. So, I mean, there is a kill order. I like to abide by the kill order, but when opportunity strikes, you got to go ahead and go for it. 
I put counter up on my uh, team with Daredevil, and that probably wasn't actually the right call. Basic with the T4 does a double hit. Probably should have just double hit the death pool and taken her out right away. So here's some counter attacks. No, we get one from uh, Daredevil at least. And then Moon Knight comes in. Doesn't do nearly as much damage as I would like, but I don't have that special T4 yet. I will eventually. Uh, look at that Daredevil ultimate. So that when I tell you it's a luxury, it is, but it does so much damage. And finally, we turn our attention to She-Hulk. And there goes Daredevil with the two hits. Very big damage. She-Hulk will throw it back at us, but here goes Night Nurse with the uh, flip. Looks like that was a bunch of counterattacks, and White Tiger comes in with the finish. So as you see, as long as you kill the cloak super quick, very easy fight. I wish I had the other footage to show you that when you kill Dagger first, cloak will ult. Your Night Nurse, if someone gets knocked into yellow, she's going to go right away and cleanse everything, and then you go from there. But other teams that uh, Shadowlands can take off is problematic Doom teams. Now we're looking at a Merc's Doom team with Shuri on it. So could Secret Avengers take this team out? Yes, absolutely, but if Shuri gives energy, it makes it a little bit more complicated. And also, uh, not Doom Team, but Mercs, if there's Zemo and Surfer with the Mercs, Shadowlands is a great option for them too. They get full turns before uh, Surfer or Zemo actually get a turn. So what are we going to do here? We're going to put a Vulnerable on Doom, and we're going to try and strip him. So we're going to go ahead and use the Electra Special on Doom. Like I said, you don't got to worry about the Merc Lieutenant or the uh, Merc Riot Guard doing their thing and getting you stuck for the first little bit. And obviously we have Hanger Up. See, I'm definitely always prioritizing that. I target uh, Taskmaster when I do it just to get an extra vulnerable up. And I actually don't even know how that Lieutenant died. He must have been tiny. But as you see, the Doom was not tiny. Uh, 190k. And my White Tiger pretty much one shot him. And then once that happens, this is a wrap. This is over. I go for the special. Could have basic that Shuri to death. Probably would have been a smarter move. And here comes the ult, and there goes Taskmaster. So, I believe this was actually a bit of a punch down, but uh, that's a little disingenuous because it was the 190k Doom, right? He was huge. And the fact that we ripped through him shows that it wouldn't have been a problem had this been like uh, maybe 75 to 100k punch up, we would have still been fine. And there she goes. So, that's how you can take up Doom teams. So, uh, you got to make sure that your Moon Knight goes first your White Tiger, your Electra, and your Death uh, Daredevil can take out the Doom right away. Not that big a problem. And last but not least, we got big Marauder punch-ups. I will say, this is super easy, especially because Sabretooth has basically been pulled off this team. So this is a 200k punch-up, nothing special. I've also done 400k punch-up against Symbiotes in that matchup. Take Scream out right away, then take out Anti-Venom after that. It falls apart super quick. You just gotta make sure you're tunneling down the right characters. Uh, and that's kind of a theme for these next two videos I'm putting out with Shadowlands and X-Force. Unboosted, giant, old meta war defense teams, Shadowlands destroys them. Absolutely destroys them. The wave 1, 500k punch up, no problem. I mean, not if you're 200k punch up to 700k, obviously. But if you're like 600k punching up on 1 million, no problem with Shadowlands into like a wave 1 team. So just keep that in mind. These guys are super, super efficient at doing big punch-ups on old teams to preserve your more meta war offense uh, teams. So here you go, what did we do here? I didn't even see. We must put ability block on Emma, cool. And we put the Disrupt on Strife. And now you see, it is a pretty big punch-up. So we actually do take quite a bit of damage and then Night Nurse just completely negates it all and goes from there. Minerva bleeds out and White Tiger will come in just completely mess up that uh, Emma. And with a basic guaranteed double tap with that T4, she's gone. And now this is an auto fight at this point. Oh, me and the, the past me are like super synced. Oh, I should move my head though. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I'm trying to have a bit of fun. Been a little bit under the weather lately, trying to shake it off and keep making videos. So there we go, we'll kill the strafe next. And last but not least, we'll kill the sinister. I know not technically last, but Mystique is a 
garbage character on her own. And obviously the one character that's a pain in the butt when they get cloned is Moon Knight. Uh, but even then, your Night Nurse is going to cleanse all that up on after. He just takes longer to kill with his big health pool. So there you go. That's a couple uses for Shadowlands, guys. Uh, no overlap with the teams we've shown thus far. Next one is going to be X-Force. Try and get that out to you, uh, if not tomorrow, early next week. So if you did like this video, please like, subscribe. I think we got four more to do before we make the compilation video, which is already outdated because there's the new Uncanny team. Uh, so I'm going to do all the teams that I should have had done by now, do the compilation video, and then the next video after that will show how Magic and the Uncanny new team kind of break apart two of the teams we've already shown, what I'm going to do with those teams, and then we'll do the same with Web Warriors, how they're going to impact war, and then we'll do the same with Ravagers. Spoiler alert, my Uncanny and my Ravagers are not going super duper high, so they're only going to replace my uh, bottom teams. Anyway guys, take care, have fun, hope you guys are having a good weekend, and I'll check you later. Peace.